move. No. Who are you? And how'd you find us? You don't get to ask the questions. I do. Now talk. Oh. And why are you looking for him, huh? Well, if you're not gonna tell me, then... I guess I- WAIT! <clears throat> don't. It's okay. She's not with them. <clears throat> what? Are you serious? Ugh. Fine. What are you doing here? Oh, right. We had training today. Well, uh, sorry, but that's going to have to wait. <laughs> oh, God, it hurts to laugh. Don't worry, I'll live. Just, just head home. We'll be back to training in a few days. Look, I don't need any help, okay? It's nothing. I said, I don't need your help! <laughs> Shit. Oh, he's, he's losing too much blood. Hey, don't just stand there. Give me a hand. Hey. Hey. Stay with me. You're gonna be fine. Just, just don't shut your eyes, okay? <sighs> Look, I need to see if this place has a medkit anywhere. Stay with him, put some pressure on the wound, and keep him talking. He's got a concussion. So if he passes out or goes to sleep, he'll either be in a coma or dead. Got it? Okay, I'll be right back. Hang in there, tough guy. <sighs> Slap me over and over. Could you at least try and knock me out? I mean, it would be more painful, but less annoying. Honestly, I don't know what's worse. <laughs> Why would you stop asking me that? Because it's none of your business. You're not going to let this go, are you? <sighs> Fine. There is this... site... across town. They hold... cage fights down there. Real underground level stuff, Sue. So you can't get in unless they've seen you in action. It's run by the city's gang leaders. There's a lot of money to make if you're good. I go there every once in a while, especially if I'm strapped for cash. And not to brag, but I'm the best there. Even made a name for myself. <clears throat> Dante the Living Inferno. <laughs> what? <laughs> hey, don't laugh. I just came up with the first part, the crowd out of the other. Plus, I wasn't going to use my actual name. Or my current one. It, wait, wait, I mean, I... <sighs> Never mind. Okay, got it. Here. <clears throat> Take this. Alright. Now, hold him steady. 
Oh, good. Could use a drink. <laughs> you see, you're still drinking the cheap stuff, huh? <laughs> Shut up. I couldn't find any rubbing alcohol in the medkit, so I had to improvise. <sighs> Well, I'm definitely gonna smell like shit and booze by the end of this. Oh. So, just normally then? Piss off. <laughs> <laughs> I'd be a little nicer if I were you. I'm about to stitch you up. Speaking of which, hey. You. Come over here. I'm gonna show you how to do this. Because if you're gonna stick around this guy, you'll need to. This isn't the first time he's been in a fight, and it won't be the last. Plus, if you can do it, I won't have to. <laughs> Alright. Now you can just clean the wound with the gum. Mm? Yep. Just like that. Now, take a swig of this. It's not for him because I don't need your hands shaking for this. Yeah, it burns a little. Now, take the needle and thread and go right underneath. Not too deep, but not too above the surface. Good. Yeah, just go back and forth like that. And... Done. See? Not so hard. Good job. Oh, uh... Yeah, sorry for earlier. How about we start over? I'm Gina. Well, nice to meet you. Sorry, you had to see all this. No, this is nothing new. He'll be fine. We're kind of used to this by now. Yeah, I've known this knucklehead almost my whole life. We've been through a lot together. Anyway, you should head home now. I'll make sure he doesn't, you know, die or anything. Oh, you want to stay? Okay, <laughs> whatever you want. Listen, I have to head out to get more supplies. You think you can watch him while I'm gone? Okay, cool, thanks. Yeah, uh, he's resting. I know what I said, but it's been over three hours, so it's safe for him to sleep. God knows he needs it. I'll be back soon. Is that... Shit. It's that late, huh? Why didn't you go home? Worried, huh? What about your parents? Uh, hold up. You told them you were sleeping over at a friend's house. Working on sewing. Well... <sighs> If you count sleeping in a dark warehouse and cross-stitching human flesh, then yeah, I guess that's technically true. <laughs> and they actually bought that. 
I think I'm starting to rub off on you. And not in a good way. <laughs> Wait, where's G? Who's G? <sighs> Gina. I... <sighs> I call her G. Oh, okay. Nothing, just... Just curious. Yeah, yeah. I've known her for a long time. Sorry, she almost... You know. Yeah. <laughs> she can get a bit... Paranoid. It's not her fault. When you grow up around this place, it kind of comes with the territory. Yeah. About that... Well, not here, here, but... That's a long story. <laughs> yeah, I guess we do have time. No, I really don't, but... I get the feeling you're not gonna stop asking until I do, so... No use hiding it. G and I, we... We grew up in the foster system. Just jumping from home to home. Some were okay, but it's clear we were nothing more than a meal ticket to them. No, no, we, well, we, we never met our real parents. Nope, no idea. Guess we just didn't want to. I mean, it's clear they didn't want us, so what's the point in finding them? The only thing we know is that they just gave us up. They didn't die tragically, or were mentally incapable, or even broke, just... Just gave us up. If it was to give us a better life, then... <laughs> little good that did. I know because I overheard our CPS agent. And I may have broken into his office and found our files. Just to be sure. One day, they paired both me and her in the same house. <sighs> A little weird at first, but at least we were finally under the same roof. So that was a plus. But the place we were at, the people they left us with, he couldn't even call them human, let alone mom or dad. Shit they put us through. I had no idea how CPS never caught on to these people. I'm not gonna tell you everything that happened. Because I don't want to! No, not her either! <laughs> because it's not for me to tell. It's when he did, one night that my foster dad, he. I. <sighs> hit a breaking point. What he did. What he was going to do to her. <sighs> My mind went blank. Next thing I knew. I was standing over him. With his face and body so... Broken. And the mom, <laughs> the sick bitch recorded the whole thing. She must have been in shock or something, cause whatever I did, she didn't stop it. Then, she tried coming at me with a wrench, but she, she, she stopped her. 
was over. After that, we booked it. We were scared to go to the police, and we refused to let CPS put us in another home like that again, so... So we ran. They even managed to get us new IDs and everything. So for a while, it was just me and her against the world. Hell, we even started dating after a while. Nah, <laughs> that ship has sailed and sunk. No, no, it was, uh, it was my fault. <laughs> Guess have you met me? Not sure if you noticed, but, uh, I'm a bit of an asshole. <laughs> yeah, I'm surprised she stayed as long as she did. After that, we kind of just drifted apart, did our own thing. Haven't spoken to each other since. Until last night. It was an hour before the match. I got approached by the head of the ring. Since I was on a winning streak, everyone saw me as the safe bet. Made sense to bring on a newcomer and make some extra cash. He said if I took the fall this time, I'd be getting three times the amount I'd get if I won. Hell, he even offered to pay the medical bill free of charge. <laughs> I was just there for the cash anyway. So I took the deal. After that, I went to the lockers to get changed. Then, I saw my opponent. He was mostly just talking smack with his buddies. I didn't really care. Until he brought something up. Saying stuff like, Yeah, my girlfriend was pissed last night. But I put that bitch in her place. She knows better than to talk back to me. To be honest, I was a little irked. But it was none of my business, so... I just let it go. But outside the locker? Guess who I find? Gee... It was really awkward. <laughs> but if I'm honest, it was nice to see her again. We talked for a few minutes, but then she had to go. So before I left, I gave her a little pat on the back. You know, buddy-buddy stuff. But when I did, she, she grunted flinched like she was sore and pain I asked if she was okay but she was like oh no oh no it's fine I just gotta get going I could tell something was up I didn't want to press it but it's not like I have room to talk and she went inside the locker and guess who she was locking lips with? Yep. My douchebag opponent. He laid his hands on her. And I'm supposed to lose to him? When I got into the ring, yeah, I was just dancing around, throwing punches. But all I could do was just Watched G in the crowd. She was looking away at the whole thing. But I couldn't take my eyes off her. I was just on the mat, waiting for the countdown. Then, he started taunting me. He said, Oh, come on now. My girlfriend can hit better than you. <laughs> I went up and told him, yeah, <laughs> and I'm pretty sure she's kicked your ass, too. <laughs> that kind of pissed him off. Then he got really close and said, 
Don't count on it. She knows better than to talk back to me. If she does, I'll just put that bitch back in her place. Then, everything went blank. Again. Him. Five other guards. All beaten to a bloody pulp. It was like deja vu. And she... The look on her face. Needless to say, the head guy was pissed I broke our deal. Gangsters don't tend to like it when you mess with their money. And it didn't help my case that the guy I beat the living crap out of was his son. So I fought through and ran. Fought for a bit, but there were too many of them. But for some reason, she was there. Backed me up. And we both escaped. Then... We headed here. It's not their territory, so we're safe for now. But... Now we're both on their shit list. Can't go to the cops because they paid most of them off. It's happening all over again. Hey, what are you... Thanks. Although you're, you're kind of crushing my lungs. I'm back. Oh, oh uh, should I just come back later or? <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> hey, um, can you give me and G a minute? Thanks. Good night. Can you sit up for me? Good. I got this back splint from a friend. Here. Oh, there we go. So, you two are looking pretty cozy there. Gee. I'm sorry. Wait, what was that? I said, I'm sorry. For everything. Okay, now I know you've got a concussion. Did she slip you some of the booze or something? This is the third time I've ruined your life. The McCreets. The ring. Us. Every time I get myself into some shit, I've dragged you down with me. I didn't want any of this to happen. I didn't want to leave you. But I loved you too much to let myself drag you down any further. That you'd be better off, happy, without me. But after last night, what he was doing to you, I lost it. I'm not gonna pretend I'm a saint. I am an asshole. I'm a terrible friend, and an even worse boyfriend. But I would never lay my hands on someone I cared about. I refuse to be them. I know you didn't ask me, 
It wasn't my business. You can take care of yourself, but... <sighs> doesn't matter. And once again... We're right back where we started. <sighs> and I am so... So sorry. This whole thing is all on you. Look at me. You didn't make me do anything. I chose to stop her. I chose to go with you. I chose to be with you. And I chose to help you. You didn't ruin my life. It was always a shit show. The world gave us a bad hand. But we're still standing. Listen to everything that's happened. It's not your fault. Do you understand me? That should be all of it. You should be resting, you know. I'm fine. Plus, I... I wanted to see you off. Aww, how sweet. <laughs> so where do you think you'll go? I don't know. Some place far. But not too far, I guess. In that case, here. It's a, it's a burner. To you know, keep in touch. I know we can't go back to the way things were, but I still care about you. I'm not going to abandon you. Not again. Not ever. So if you need help, whether you're in trouble or you get another douchebag boyfriend, I'll be here. And what makes you so sure they'll be like that? Because I hate to tell you this, but uh, you have really shitty taste in men. Yeah, you know. But some of them do have redeeming qualities. <laughs> <laughs> ah, oh, uh, sorry. You okay? Yeah, just, just. Uh, face is still a little sore. I'm gonna put some ice on it later. <laughs> I think I know something that will make it better. Take care of yourself, Eugene. You too, G. How long have you been there? You didn't happen to hear that last part, did you? <sighs> Damn it. Well, I said I had to make a new ID for us. No, it's Damon, and you know it. Don't forget it. No, you can't call me Eugene. <sighs> Good grief. <sighs> 